Hello everyone. So today I wanted to do, I'm doing this video basically because, well, I've been, uh, I've been chatting with, actually this was in the comment section, I think, uh, in one of my videos, and um, about, uh, about getting reviews. And I was chatting with this one translator who said, uh, you know, she needed more reviews or ratings on her profile. And, uh, but, you know, it was obviously hard. She was on pros.com. It was hard to get uh, new translation jobs when she didn't have any ratings or reviews, but, you know, she needed ratings and reviews to get, uh, to get new clients, the usual chicken and the egg. Now, she, but she had already had some clients. It's just that they were not through the pros website and they were independently, she had these clients. And, uh, and so I told her, I was like, you can still, you know, get the reviews on pros, um, and, uh, you know, and, and on other websites, but mainly on pros is what I'll concentrate on. Um, you know, even if you didn't do the job through pros. And so I kind of just wanted to show you that and walk you through it, you know, so this is for all of you who have maybe done a translation job before, even if you didn't use the pros.com website and you did, you did a translation for anyone before and they're happy with the translation, you can still get a rating or a review on your pros.com website. And so I want to show you exactly how to do it. Um, and on pros, first of all, they call it the WWA, the willingness to work again. And so here's how you do it. You go, here you go, click under my WWA. And then you come here and they really make it very easy, both for you and for uh, the other client. Um, so here you have under service providers, basically you just uh, click on um, request translator feedback. And I mean, yeah, that's it. You know, you write, so here, I'm going to write an email address. I'll just write my own in case this, so this shouldn't send out. Um, I've done this quite a, quite a few times. Uh, I'll put Robert. Um, and then, uh, but I, I just want to show you what happens. You just write out their email address, write out the name of the contact person and the company name. I think if you even leave out the company name, oh no, you probably need that actually for the pros.com blue board. Uh, let's see if this works actually. I'm curious. Yeah, it still works. Oh, so all you need is the, is the email address and the name. Anyway, so as you can see, it's very easy. And then what pops up, you basically, you fill out their name and email address and then you and then they write it out for you even. They said, I appreciate the opportunity to work with you. If you're satisfied with my service, please consider entering translator feedback for me, blah, blah, blah. And uh, and then when they receive this, all they have to do is either click yes, or I prefer not to give feedback. So you either get a yes, willing to work again, or nothing that, you know, there's, there's nothing there. And so it's kind of a win-win for you. And so anyone you've already done a translation for, what I usually do is I email them ahead of time and said, I'm going to, you know, ask you for a WWA for, you know, for this rating thing. And I say, you know, it's just an email and, and it's very easy. All you have to do is click yes. And if you want, you can leave any comments you want. Um, but, but yeah, you know, that, that's how it's done. And it's very easy, both for you and for the client. So there's no reason not to do this from any uh, client you've had, anyone you've performed a translation for. It doesn't matter if it's an established company or not, as you saw. And, uh, you know, as long as they're happy with the translation, you might as well send them this and then they can give you a rating or review, um, you know, which, as I said, when you're first starting out is the most important thing. Actually, I'm curious. I've never clicked on this before. I want to see what other feedback choices there are. Um, okay, it just clicks up to here. Okay, I'm not sure what that did. Anyway, uh, but you get the idea. And so, you know, they're going to click on uh, this or I prefer not to give feedback. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and, uh, then you have your review. It's as simple as that. Really, there's not much more to say about it. Uh, so hopefully you're able to use this. If you've ever performed a translation for anyone, you can definitely use this and they can leave you a WWA and they can, uh, you know, and also leave a review or whatever it might be. Um, and, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you find this useful and you're able to use it. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe for more videos like this about translation, about being a freelance translator. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.